Hey guys, Kristen Leek here. Welcome to my channel. I roll out videos every Sunday. And today I want to share something really awesome I found in my room. So I am packing and I found some notes from my coding boot camp days and I went to a talk about how to become an iOS developer and I found my notes and I want to share them with you. So that's what I'm going to do. So this guy, he's awesome. Uh, his name is Jazbo, and we still talk some on Twitter. Jazbo, if you're watching this, hey. Um, he gave a talk at Skookum, and Jazbo, from what I understand, is a self-taught iOS developer, and he shares a lot of cool resources. And the first thing he mentions is if you want to become a iOS developer, you need a solid foundation on computer science. And he, what he did was he did the, what is it, the Harvard X. Uh, there's a EDX program online where you can uh, pretty much like watch lectures from different universities. And so he watched the Harvard X CS50 course. And he said to make sure you do the homework and he says that it's really hard and um, it just builds the foundation that you need as an iOS developer or even just a web developer. I should probably do that actually and I keep saying I will but I definitely want to check it out and you should too. Uh, let's see and then second treehouse videos. Uh, look at treehouse videos for iOS stuff. Uh, I'm sure you've heard me and maybe some other people uh, talk about Treehouse, teamtreehouse.com. They have killer, killer videos, like the best quality, and they also update them the fastest. So if there are any, if there are any updates to Swift or anything, you will definitely find out about it. So if you want to learn iOS, like Team Treehouse, that's a really good resource for you to use. Third is iOS Stanford X. So this is also part of the EDX uh, course website. If you want to Google it, like I said, there's a lot of other classes, but Stanford X has an iOS course. And similar to the computer science one that Jasbo did, um, it's you can get a certificate. It's hard, but it's worth your while. He mentioned, what did he say? It took him a few months. I can't remember for which one, um, but it takes more than a week to watch these, okay? So don't like set your standards super high that you're going to just like crush this, okay? It took him some time to complete all this because he really focused on, really focused on understanding what you're doing, not just repeating what someone says you should do. It's not just a process you should do. Like you need to know why this process works. And he says to build, build, build. And this goes for just anything in this field. Like you need to build a bunch of websites, build a bunch of applications. In this case, like build a bunch of iOS apps. If you get them into the app store, into the uh, Apple app store, that's awesome. If not, that's fine. Like you're learning from it. So definitely build and use those skills, or the skills, the things that you're learning in these uh, resources that he shared with us. Or I guess shared with me, I'm sharing them with you. Okay, so the fifth thing he says to read. Read everything iOS and application related. So read blogs, read books, um, anything you can get your hands on. Read articles. And then lastly, he actually suggests what I always stress so much, and it's networking. It's getting into the community, and this will allow you to get help, like when you're building and whenever you get stuck. Like you'll meet people and you'll make friends with people who also like to build applications, and they can help you with your um, with your iOS or Apple app. And it's just really important. So check out Meetup.com if you haven't already. Um, just start going to events. If you're already in boot camp, just go to the tech events that your boot camp has lined up for you. Just really take advantage because 
who you surround yourself with seriously does determine your success. So prioritize that. Uh, that's about it. I wanted it to be super concise. It is late right now, but um, I thought this was so cool. I found this notebook and it has a lot of old, like, has a lot of old notes from Coding Bootcamp, like how to run Rails and uh, how to use GitHub. Just, I don't know, maybe I'll pull something out of here in the future. But for now, that's all I'm going to share today. I, I know it's kind of totally different, but um, free resources are great. And I know some of you are debating between using free resources or going to coding boot camp. And there's no wrong way to do it. Just be honest with yourself about whether or not you would be successful. And like you can stay disciplined using a free resource. I personally prefer classroom settings, but once I get the hang of things, like now that I'm super familiar with markup language and JavaScript, and I'm familiar with Ruby on Rails, like I, I could definitely learn stuff online, but at the time I, I would not have done well at all with free resources. But everyone's different. Some people learn a lot faster than me. Actually, a lot of people probably learn a lot faster they mean, but you know, that's okay. Like I'm determined and obviously it's working out. So, uh, that's probably your case too. Just saying. Anyways, I am rambling cause I'm tired. So have a good night guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.